This is the Lux Fantasy Crochet Cardi Wrap Vest with optional sleeves. An unstructured vest is a wonderful project to take your crochet to the next level. If you can make a rectangular wrap but are intimidated by structured garments, it is the perfect transition project. There are a variety of ways you can style this vest too. It can be worn to look loose and unstructured as is, but with the simple addition of ties, a belt, or buttons, you can transform it into an accessory that looks custom fit. This is one of those pieces that you can slip on over just about anything. Dress it up or down, it's a staple for any wardrobe. And as far as travel goes, anything that has convertible sleeves is perfect for any climate as well. You will need 1,264 yards of number two sport weight yarn and a G6 or four millimeter crochet hook. The sample is shown in Biso Lux yarn, which is my number two sport weight, 70% bamboo, 30% cotton yarn. And the sample is shown in Denim Crush with eight balls. In these videos, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for navigating both the pattern, the chart, and working the stitches to make this beautiful project. This is video part four for the Lux Fantasy Crochet Cardi Wrap Vest. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this stitch pattern worked in rows with a multiple of five plus two into working in the round with just a straight multiple of five. The reason why we don't need the plus two anymore is because like I explained in one of the previous videos that this stitch pattern is a multiple of five foundation ovals to do the shell and the mesh in order to make the flat piece symmetrical we add one more shell which is a partial repeat and that's why we have a five plus two when we're working in the round we only need full repeats because you want to go from shell mesh shell mesh shell mesh and as you work around to join in the round you want to make sure that from the mesh you are working back to a shell. And so that's why when we do the sleeves, we alter the multiple, drop the plus two, and it just ends up being a multiple of five. Why is this helpful? If you're modifying in any way. If you're working the pattern exactly as written, you'll need 25 foundation ovals for your first setup round. Or if you're doing a you know, yarn substitution of any kind, that's when you would or making this a smaller size for a child perhaps, you would want to alter the number of foundation ovals in the setup round, or it could be more or less, what have you. Anyway, uh, it's still going to only be a multiple of five ovals if you're changing. If you're doing the full size, you wanna do 25, I'll be doing a reduced size sample and only doing 15. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. So you start by tying your yarn to your crochet hook and work a chain four and double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. You don't use, you don't, you skip the working loop on your hook and count back one, two, three, and four. Double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One foundation oval is complete. I'll do that again. Chain four, double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. Hook, we skip the working loop and count back one, two, three, and four. And you want to repeat this until you have 25 foundation ovals and slip stitch to join in the first chain at the beginning of the round to join. Okay, this is what your first round, the setup round should look like before we join it. You should have 25 foundation ovals if you're working the pattern exactly as written, or I'm or it just needs to be a multiple of five ovals. I did a reduced size sample of 15. So to join this first setup round, you want to slip stitch into the first chain at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what your setup round should look like. Round one starts with slip stitching into the first foundation oval, chain three, which counts as a double crochet, two more double crochets in that same oval, chain three, three, found, uh, three double crochets in the next foundation oval, chain four, double crochet in the next oval, chain two, double crochet in the next oval, chain two, double crochet in the next oval, chain four, three double crochets in the next 
ovo. Chain three, three double crochets in the next oval. Chain four, double crochet in the next oval. Chain two, double crochet in the next oval. Chain two, double crochet in the next oval chain four and you want to repeat from this first set of three double crochets through this chain four you want to repeat that all the way around at the end of the last repeat at the end of the last chain four you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and this is what your work should look like at the end of round one of the sleeves Round two begins with slip stitching across these double crochets and into the first chain three space. Then chain four, which counts as a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same chain three space, chain one, double crochet in the same space, and you want to do that three more times. You want to have a total of six double crochets separated by five chain one spaces one two yep that's it then chain two skip the next three double crochets and work one double crochet in the next singular double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two skip the next chain four, skip the next three doubles, and in the next chain three space work double crochet, chain one, five times. And one more double crochet in that same space. So you have a total of six double crochets separated by five chain one spaces, chain two, double crochet in the next sing singular double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, and you want to repeat from this shell through this chain two all the way around. At the end of the last repeat and the last chain two, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. Round three begins with slip stitching into the first chain one space, chain three, which counts as a double crochet, two more double crochets in that same chain one space, then you want to work three double crochets into each of the next four chain one spaces. Skip the next double crochet, work one double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, and work three double crochets into each of the next five chain one spaces. Skip the next double crochet, one double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the next singular double crochet. And you want to repeat from this big shell through this double crochet all the way around. At the end of the last repeat and the last double crochet, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round three. Round four begins with slip stitching 
across each of the next five double crochets. Remember, you can't slip stitch into the stitch you already slip stitch into. So that chain three, we joined the round there. So we wanna get past these first six stitches. We already did that by joining the round. So we'll slip stitch into each of the next two, then each of the next three for a total of five. And then you wanna slip stitch into the space before the next set of three double crochets. And then it's chain three that counts as a double crochet. Two more double crochets in that space before the next double crochet, chain three. Skip the next three double crochets and work three double crochets in the space before the next double crochet. Chain four. Skip the next six double crochets and work one double crochet in the next singular double crochet. Chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain four. Skip the next six double crochets and work three double crochets in the space before the next double crochet. Chain three, skip the next three double crochets and work three double crochets in the, in the space before the next double crochet. Chain four, skip the next six stitches, one double crochet in the next singular double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain four and you want to repeat from these three double crochets here through this chain four you want to repeat that all the way around at the end of the last repeat and the end of the last chain four you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and this is what you work And this is what your work should look like at the end of round four. And we are done. So we're done with the repeat. So for round five, you want to repeat round two. For round six, you want to repeat round three. And then rounds seven through 33, you want to repeat rows four to six, nine more times and fasten off. All of this is written out in the pattern. The link is available in the video description. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add these sleeves temporarily to your wrap so that you can wear it sleeveless and with sleeves whenever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.